Hello everyone, um, this is just a small instructional video on the braking in period for the car for the first 1,243 miles. Now this is how I did it, other people may do it differently but this is what I found the best way for me. Um, following pretty much BYD's instructions, now there is some information out there that it's for the first 1,000 kilometres personally i found information and i found out from several dealerships it's 1243 miles and of which you have to do as you can see here sorry the the hev miles you got to do 50 percent or more covering hev miles of that one two four three so if you do 622 or more then that's pretty much perfect so as you can see there, I've done a total of 746 HEV, but I've done 1,003 EV, mainly because obviously now I've done 1,749 miles. So the best way to set it up, as you can see there, it's in HEV mode and Eco. And that's what you would like it on during the breaking in period. Excuse me. So what you need to do now to ensure that you can get the best out of that is come over to your infotainment system go into your settings and click over into energy so the you see in your energy manager your SOC settings so best way to do that is keep it at 70 click it on save then you see this toggle switch here keep it on that so then you do that press ok and all that ensures so that when you restart your vehicle it will stay on save if not if you don't toggle that it will revert back to auto and you've got to keep coming back in and saving to that so all i did was i left it at that didn't recharge my battery once i'd got to 70 percent on the meter there as your car will keep the battery to 70%. Now there was a few fluctuations I did see where it went down to 68% but it would soon go back up to 70 because the engine basically recharges it back to that. So here's where it gets a little bit tricky for some um, as most people won't do the speeds required because it's just a to and from car from A to B and might avoid 40 mile an hour rolls, 50, 60 and obviously motorways. But you will gain, if you watch the bottom right, you will gain the HEV miles around town, but they will only go up slowly compared to EV miles. So to combat that, you want to be doing a mix of A roads, B roads and motorways, ideally. So I tried to do as many 40 roads and 50s, so like dual carriageways and motorways, so once you go over like i think it's 40 miles an hour the engine works to basically run the vehicle <coughs> excuse me so once you go over that certain speed the engine will basically work alongside the ev side to keep the battery charged which then gives you the hev miles some may disagree but this is the information I found out from several dealerships on the best way to do it. Um, might not be the best way to do it for others, but that's how I found it for me. So it might work for you, it might not. But you can take away from this the basics on what you need to do to set it up to help you gain the required miles to break in the car engine some people will ignore it and not do anything like that at all because i'll be honest with you when i picked up my car the dealership didn't mention any of this to me i actually found this out later um and then i, I rang around a few just to get the information to make sure that it was correct and i pretty much got the same information from several dealerships and all it does is basically allows the vehicle to become more efficient. 
excuse me, as you can see there, I'm on 80.7 miles per gallon at the moment. But as you can see, where is it? Let me find it. Cumulatively, overall, I'm getting 84.1, which is climbing. Last week, I was only at 80. Um, yesterday, on this menu, <coughs> excuse me, I did reach over 100. <coughs> excuse me. Uh, miles per gallon <clears throat> but obviously being stuck in traffic it will drain it down but anyway i digress so going back to it so just to um recap hev eco set that to 70 and save and toggle that on so it doesn't auto revert to auto when you turn the car on once you've done what i've said previously all I did was I go back to auto, I flip the switch back down to 25% because that's the lowest it will go, and I will turn that off. And then you can quite happily then change the mode to where you want. That's basically what I run in. Now, here's the other caveat. What, what happens is, when you're on 100% battery, every time you start the car, it will start in EV. I don't particularly like that um, because it is a pretty chunky car to be running around in just EV mode. So I'd rather have the engine assist there all the time. So up until the car reaches 70%, I will put it in HEV mode each time I get in. When the battery drops to 70, it will stay in EV. Uh, sorry, it will stay in HEV mode. Um, and then just remember, whenever you recharge the vehicle back up to 100, it will always start in EV mode. It's up to you whether or not you put it back in HEV or stay in EV. But me personally, I prefer it in HEV. <coughs> Excuse me. So, um, if you'd like to know anything more, please comment below. and I'll try to answer your questions as best as possible. And please remember, as cheesy as this is, please like subscribe and share. Much appreciated. Thank you. See you in the next one.